The release of Taylor Swift's album Red has created quite a commotion. With new songs, a short film, and a fresh look at her previous work, the singer is back in the spotlight. During the project's promotion, one of the artist's looks stood out due to its silhouette, which was inspired by Princess Diana's revenge gown. Swift bet on a David Coma gown that bears an uncanny resemblance to the look worn by the People's Princess in 1994 during her appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers. With a v-neck line and long sleeves, the look drew attention not only for its sophistication and refinement but also for the message it conveyed. A hidden meaning, Taylor Swift stepped out in a David Coma LBD just hours before releasing her re-recorded version of Red, prompting comparison to Princess Diana's iconic revenge dress, which she notably wore the day after Prince Charles publicly admitted to cheating on her in 1994. Taylor Swift sparked outrage on Thursday evening after appearing to channel the late Princess Diana's iconic revenge dress. The State of Grace singer, 31, instantly drew comparisons to the beloved royal while wearing an off-the-shoulder mini-dress with a notch neckline and crystal embroidery during her appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers. As she promoted the re-release of her 2012 Heartbreak album Red, the 11-time Grammy winner's resemblance to Prince William's mother was undeniable. Despite the similarities in their dresses, Swift did not wear tights or a pearl choker, as the Princess of Wales did at the 1994 Vanity Fair party. The revenge dress is one of Diana's most famous outfits, worn shortly after her ex-husband, Prince Charles, admitted to cheating on her in an interview with Jonathan Dimbleby two years after they divorced. Swifties were convinced Swift was sending a message to ex-Jake Gyllenhaal or Scooter Braun, but Swift eventually debunked fan theories. When asked the next day by Access Hollywood if the dress had a hidden meaning, Swift replied, Oh my god, this isn't, I just like the dress. I like the black dress, the actress said to a reporter at the All Too Well premiere on Friday at Amp Lincoln Square. While her dress may not have been aimed at Gyllenhaal, Swift did not hold back in her new film about her heartbreak following their 2011 split. The 13-minute film, which featured new lyrics from the extended version of All Too Well, shed light on how their nine-year age difference contributed to their breakup. You said it would have been fine if we were closer in age, and that made me want to die, Swift sings, though she has never officially confirmed that the song is about Gyllenhaal. From October to December 2010, the 40-year-old actor allegedly dated the Cardigan singer. Other lyrics in the re-recording suggest that the breakup was especially difficult for Taylor. They say all's well that ends well, the lyrics begin, but I'm in a new hell, every time you double-cross my mind. Though he was initially opposed to age gap relationships, Jake has since changed his mind. Since late 2018, the Donnie Darko star has been romantically linked to 25-year-old French model Jean Cadieu, who was 15 years his junior. From a fashion standpoint, the whole look-alike thing is quite uncanny. Both the singers and the late royals' outfits feature a small cutout at the neckline and an off-the-shoulder sleeve. They both have skin-bearing silhouettes. They are both accessorized with classic black pumps and pendant earrings. However, Swifties all over the world believe that her outfit choice for her late night with Seth Meyers appearance on Thursday, November 11, was more than just a fashion statement. Not only is Red, which was first released in 2012, inspired by Heartbreak, but many fans see the re-released version as Swift's revenge on Scooter Braun. The 40-year-old music executive sparked a feud in 2019 after purchasing the rights to Swift's first six albums. The re-recorded versions, as well as previously unseen vault songs, are the fearless singer's way of reclaiming ownership of her music. Others took to social media to directly address Braun. What Scooter Braun failed to realize is that nothing Taylor Swift does better than vengeance, one user remarked. I'm not a huge Taylor Swift fan. But the vengeance and karma Scooter Braun is receiving right now is beautiful, and I'm all for it," someone else added. Swift addressed her feud with the media mogul in March 2021, when she announced that she would re-record the six albums he purchased. Artists should own their work for a variety of reasons, she stated on Instagram, but the most obvious is that the artist is the only one who truly understands that body of work. In April, the Grammy winner released Fearless. The album, which has received the most awards in country music history, topped the charts once more. Swift, however, has decided to withdraw the re-recorded version from consideration for the Grammy and CMA Awards. Taylor Swift, in her own words, do nothing better than avenge. The 31-year-old singer is currently riding high on the massive success and critical acclaim that her latest record, Red, and the short film she wrote and directed for the 10-minute version of the fan-favorite song All Too Well have received. The album and short film represent various levels of the sweetest kind of vengeance. There's the vengeance that Taylor's record project's continued success exacts on Scooter Braun, whose 2019 acquisition of the rights to her masters prompted the move. 
and there's the retaliation Twitter believes is being directed at Jake Gyllenhaal, who is widely regarded as the inspiration for All Too Well. During an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers on Thursday, the host asked Taylor about people who might think they're the one you're singing about if it's easier, or far, far worse for them 10 years later. Taylor's response was perhaps even more brutal than the lyrics of All Too Well. To be honest, I haven't considered their experience. That's the worst burn, Seth said. I don't think there's anything they'd rather not hear. All of this is to say that Taylor channeled the most iconic revenge of all time, Princess Diana's 1994 revenge dress during her press blitz promoting Red and All Too Well, the short film during her interview with Seth. Twitter, for one, is having a field day with the parallels, which many Swifties are interpreting as yet another very deliberate twist of the knife on Taylor's part. Unfortunately, despite how incredible this Swiftie theory is, Taylor has denied any intentional nod to Diana's revenge look. When asked about the Diana connection, she told Access Hollywood, it was just a black dress I liked. Fans immediately noticed similarities between her V-neck dress and the late Princess of Wales's iconic look, dubbed the revenge dress because she wore it after Prince Charles publicly admitted his infidelity in 1994. While both dresses have the same short, off-the-shoulder cut, Lady Di accessorized her sleeveless Christina Stambolian design with pantyhose and pearls, while Swift accessorized her long-sleeved version with 18K gold mindy men hoop earrings. Taylor Swift's revenge dress era, one fan wrote on Twitter, while another added, not at Taylor Swift on 3 wearing the revenge dress. Many thought the reference was deliberate, as Red is Swift's second re-recorded album following her feud with music mogul Scooter Braun, who acquired her master recordings in 2019. After all, as Swift fans know all too well, the singer is no stranger to revealing hidden meanings in her outfits, from referencing previous projects with her fashion choices to wearing a jacket covered in clues in 2019. It's not the first time she's been linked to Princess Diana. Fans once speculated that her Evermore album's song Tolerate It was inspired by Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Diana's story arc on the crown. The Cardigan singer's take on the revenge dress came just days before the release of Red on Friday, which gave fans the long-awaited 10-minute version of her hit All Too Well. At the moment, the public is divided between two major theories about the play. The first is that this is a message to Scooter Braun, Swift's manager who famously purchased the rights to her songs, forcing her to re-record six of her albums. The second theory is that the dress was inspired by Swift's relationship with Jake Gyllenhaal, who inspired several songs on the album, including All Too Well. Taylor Swift fans were ecstatic this weekend when the singer-songwriter released her album, Red. Swifties have discovered a striking resemblance between a dress she wore and that of Princess Diana. I wonder if there are people who might think they're the one you're singing about if it's easier, or far, far worse, for them 10 years later. Mayers asked Swift during the talk show interview, I haven't thought about their experience to be honest, the singer-songwriter snarled. Swift also released a short film for the new, 10-minute version of All Too Well, starring Dylan O'Brien and Sadie Sink and written and directed by Swift herself, on set A. With this, we would like to end this video with the hope that you liked and enjoyed it. If you like our content, make sure that you like our video and do share your views and opinions with us in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel to receive regular videos from us, and don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.